hello and welcome to yet another exciting tutorial with magic autocad today we're going to be talking about the love tool so on the love tool we're going to be talking about the path the guides and uh, we're going to see many more in the course of our tutorial so guys stay tuned and let's get started before working make sure your workspace is switched to the 3d modeling remember this is where to switch or you switch it up here if you have an older version so let's go to the circle and we'll quickly do a circle here let's just do it randomly i like us to do a very small circle here then we'll go back to the circle we're gonna see the center then we'll do another circle here then we'll go back to the circle do another circle here there then we'll go back to the circle we're gonna do four okay there <clears throat> then now let's go back to the circle do another circle here we'll go back to the circle do another circle here we we'll go to the rectangle tool then let's make a, a rectangle somewhere here then second point okay then now we go to home and turn to an isometric southwest view then now let's go to the move tool you go now to the move tool when you come here the first circle we're gonna move is this one and enter then you click you take it up let's take it up somewhere here we click there we'll go back to the move tool then we we'll click on this one enter then you take it up somewhere here we'll go again to the move tool we we'll click here enter then you click take it up to somewhere here there we are then now let's try to orbit and see so these are your three lines lying on different planes okay so we come back at the position then now let's go to the lob tool you come up here on the modeling then you're gonna see this lob tool you click on lob tool you select the first point the second point the third point and the fourth point depend on sorry the fourth point depending on how how many points you made on how many planes you drew okay then now let's come down to the command line you see mode then i would like us to select surface okay select surface then enter then enter again enter again then now let's go to to shade okay let's go up here to view and see go to shade it so this is our shaded this is our shaded view so that is our jar made from the love tool then let's come back here let's click on her let's go back to the move tool you select enter then you move it upward to a distance okay you click it there then we'll go back to the move tool 
click on this one left click or enter further then move it somewhere up there okay now we go to the loft tool left click on the loft tool then let's select here then our second point is going to be up here not at the mid point again we select here then now our third point is going to be here so press enter then now you're going to see cross section only then enter again then this is what you got let's turn a orbit to see what we have so we have something of this nature okay we're gonna have a tool like this from here I would like us to draw another standing object okay in that case you go up here to the wall coordinates you drop down and let's select the front okay you select on the front here you're gonna see the y x axis remember we can only draw on the x y axis so go to the line command we click and let's quickly make a line here upward then you click there you move this way and you click now let's go to the fillet tool we go to fillet left click on fillet you select the first object then you come to the command line you want to see radius let's type in a radius of six enter then select the second object then here we have a curve then now we're going to convert the three objects then we'll go to the modify command then we select join so everything is going to join then you can you see now that this line is one then now then now let's make a rectangle at the bottom of this end okay so with that we go up to the wall and we select the top view in order for our x and y axis to be in line okay we go now to the rectangle let's make a rectangle here yeah somewhere there then we go now to the copy sorry to the move tool you select enter then you come here let's track it at the midpoint okay you track the center here you click at the center and it's gonna snap at the end then again we have to make a circle at this end with that we go back up here to our coordinate and let's select left okay so now you're gonna see that we have here the y x plane which you can draw this other way so we'll go to the circle snap at this end point then we pull it out okay then there we are from here we move to the lob tool left click on your lob tool we select the first object then the second then here you're gonna have the path enter then now we're gonna follow this path okay you're gonna follow path then you click on path then you come here let's follow this path you click on this line then that is our path okay so let's go back to we come up here i would like us to make a shell okay we come up here you're gonna drop this down then here you're gonna see shell okay you click on shell then you select the solid object and let's rotate to see what we got here then here we select this end and we rotate again
you select this other end enter then you'll be asked to enter the shell offset distance then in this case let's type in one then enter enter again then now let's open it to see what we have then here you're gonna see that we've made a shell okay we've made a shell here as you can see now let's quickly move to do the last object okay with that let's go up here to the world coordinate then we drop to the front then now you're going to see the yx axis where we can draw freely then we'll go to the line command remember then we start a line here go upwards click somewhere there move this way we we'll click somewhere there enter now let's go to the fillet we select the first object then come to radius and type in six enter the second object <coughs> sorry now we have to do a rectangle at the bottom of here we we'll go up to the wall coordinates then let's select the top now you're gonna see the x y axis where we can draw our rectangle we click on rectangle we come here let's draw a rectangle here yeah there we are then we go to the move tool you click enter then let's track at the midpoint okay we we'll track at the center we we'll click at this end point then let's go back up here to drop to the left because we want to draw a circle at this end okay so our coordinates has turned to y x we can freely draw it a rectangle sorry we have to draw a rectangle this time around then let's draw a rectangle here then we we'll go to the move tool select object enter let's track the center okay here we track the center there we are then we click it at this end point so now we have to draw a guide line along this way so with that we go back up to the coordinate then let's select front okay remember y and x axis are uh, this way escape i'd like us to delete this other object okay okay from here we go to the polyline you click on poly not on line poly then you come here you track at the midpoint you go up this way second point third point and fourth point at the midpoint here enter enter again we come here the same midpoint we take it to the second point and the third point at the midpoint here escape then now you click on the polyline then you right click the mouse then you come up here to polyline and then you follow to come down to spline fit okay you click on spline fit then you're gonna see how this line has spline then you do the same here you click on this polyline you right click on your mouse 
then you come up to polyline then you follow the polyline and you come down here to spline fit then this line is going to spline as well then now let's go to the loft tool you click on loft tool you select the first object then the second object enter then you come here you're going to see guides okay you click on guide then this is the first guide you click here to be the first guide then the second guide then enter so that is what we got so thanks very much guys for watching see you in our next tutorial please don't forget to subscribe thank you